If you've ever wanted to make AI lip sync videos that actually look perfect, in this video I'll show you exactly how to do it. The problem is, most people try one tool and expect it to work on its own, but that never gives you results that look real. What finally worked for me was combining a very specific set of tools in the right order. I've been testing this setup for over a month now and it works every single time. By the end of this video, you'll know the exact process I use to generate characters, create the voiceover, over, and then lip sync everything together so the final video looks incredibly real. Alright, so the first tool we're going to be using in this workflow is called OpenArt. The reason I'm using this is because it's the best tool for generating both images and audio, which we'll use later for the voiceover and lip sync. Now, the way you want to generate your videos in OpenArt is pretty simple. Once you log in, on the left side you'll see a panel, and from there you'll want to open the Image tab. That's where you'll actually be able to create your images. So let me quickly walk you through all the settings you've got here. Up in the top left, you'll see your model selection area. And as you can see, there are dozens of different models to choose from. The best ones are usually near the top. You've got ones like Nano Banana, Seedream 4.0, Flux Context, and a bunch of others. Now, for this video, I'm going to be generating two different images just to show you the difference. One that's more realistic, and the other one that's more cartoon looking. For the realistic one, I like using Juggernaut X. Excel. It's just a model that's really, really good at creating realistic characters. So once you select that, you'll see it appear in your workflow, and then we can start writing our prompt. For the prompt, I'm going with this. A portrait of a blonde white woman wearing a black hoodie, cinematic studio lighting. And the reason I'm choosing a portrait is because it makes the lip sync way more visible. It works better as a showcase. And a great feature here is the auto enhance option, which basically makes your prompt stronger automatically. Now, now, there aren't really that many other settings that matter for this video, so I'm just going to increase the number of images to four and click Create. And as you can see, all the images that came out look really, really good. I'm going to go with the third one just because I like the way her face turned out the best. All right, now for our more cartoonish character, I'm going to go back to the model selection menu again, and this time I'll select Sea Dream 4.0. For this one, I'm going to write the prompt. A 3D Pixar-style dinosaur wearing detective clothes, natural lighting, Pixar style. And here too, I'm going to turn on the enhance feature. For the resolution, I'm going to go with 4K since that's an option available for Seadream. What's really cool about OpenArt is that every model comes with its own built-in settings right inside the workflow. So for example, Seadream might have slightly different settings than Juggernaut XL, and OpenArt automatically adjusts for that, which is honestly a big plus in my opinion. So I'll go ahead and click generate, and let's take a look at what we got. Wow, that fourth image came out looking really, really cool. I love the whole look the dinosaur has, and it's definitely going to be a really cool result once we've got it lip synced. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the next step, which is generating the voices for our characters. As I've already mentioned, OpenArt doesn't only work as an image creation tool, it also lets you create audio, which is really cool. You can access it by clicking on the audio section on the left right here. Once you're in there, you'll see it opens up a pretty standard voiceover workflow with all your settings like stability, similarity, style exaggeration, and speed. You'll also find a bunch of voice options that come directly from the Eleven Labs models, which means you're getting really high quality voices. Now for the scripts, if you don't really have an idea in mind for what you want your character to say, I actually found a really easy way to go around that. What I usually do is just open up a new chat GPT window, import my picture, and then I'll write, I'm working on an educational video for for kids, here's the image of this little dinosaur. I need you to write a short script for this character. And as you can see, it gives me a really good script that matches the image perfectly. So once I've got that, I just copy it and paste it back into the voiceover prompt area inside OpenArt, and then I move on to picking the voice. Now I imagine my dinosaur being British, so for the accent, I'm going to choose British. For gender, I'll go with male, and for age, I'll set it to young. And as you can see, we've got Dave right here as one of the available voices. So let's take a listen to how he sounds. A man is not old as long as he's seeking something. Honestly, it turned out way better than I expected, and it perfectly fits the personality I had in mind for this little character. So yeah, I'm definitely going to go with his voice. Now, about the settings here, stability basically affects how much randomness there is between each generation. I like to lower it a bit because I want the voice to feel a little more natural and human, not too robotic. So I'll set it around 0.2. Then 
then for similarity, I'll lower that a bit too. That setting controls how closely the AI sticks to the original voice when it's generating the new one. For style exaggeration, I usually like to get that up a little higher, around 0.7, because it adds a bit more life and expression to the voice. And for speed, I'll increase it just slightly, around 1.1, just to give it a bit more energy. Now I'll click Create, and let's take a listen to our result. Hi there, friends. I'm Detective Rex. That came out sounding really, really fun, definitely better than I expected. So I'm just going to go ahead and download that one. Now for the second image, I already have a script in mind, so I'll just paste that one out here. For this character, I imagine her as American, so I'll choose American for the accent, female for the gender, and young again for the age. Let's listen to some of the voices we've got here. Not what we have, but what we enjoy constitutes our abundance. If you spend your whole life waiting for the storm, you'll never enjoy the sunshine. Never mistake motion for action. Yeah, I definitely think Emily sounds the best and fits the image really nicely. So I'll go with her voice. For the settings, I'm going to keep most of them the same, but this time I'll bump up the style exaggeration to the max. Once that's done, I'll hit create, and when it's finished generating, we'll take a listen. Hey, I'm Alex. I've learned that the toughest battles aren't the ones people can see. They're the ones we face inside. This one sounds really, really good too. The only thing I'd say is that I probably overdid the style exaggeration a bit. She sounds a little too inexpressive compared to our dinosaur voice, but that's fine. I'm actually going to keep it that way just to see how well the lip sync handles a more unemotional performance. Now that we've got all of our assets done and generated, the final step is to put everything together using a lip syncing tool. And for that, we're going to be using Heijin. Now, when you first log into Heijin, you want to click over to create video on the left side right here. Then you'll be prompted to select either portrait or landscape video. I'm going to go with portrait since that's the way my images came out. Once you do that, it'll open up this workspace right here. You'll see an avatar already imported by default, but since we don't need this one, I'm just going to quickly delete it. Then I'll click over to avatars at the top right and select create avatar. From there, I'm going to start from a photo. It'll ask you to upload your photo, so I'll just upload my first one, which is the image of my dinosaur right here. Next, I'll click Upload New Avatar, and now it's going to ask me to give it a name. I'll just call this one Dino. After that, it automatically fills in most of the other settings for you. But since I'm using a cartoon character, it doesn't really detect those. So I'll just manually select Young Adult, Male, and leave the ethnicity blank. Then I'll click Continue. Now it's also going to ask you to choose a voice, since Heijin does have built-in in voice generation. But honestly, I don't think any of these sound nearly as good as the one we made in OpenArt, so I'm just going to pick a random voice here and click Next, just to move forward. Once you're in, you can just click on your avatar to select it and import it into your working field. Now let's actually import our audio. The way you do that is by clicking the audio button right here. Then just click Upload Audio, then hit Add Audio, and as you can see, it automatically transcribes everything. So now we're ready to go. You can also add things like text, other media, or elements inside Heijin. But since we're only focusing on getting the lip sync for now, I'm going to skip all that and just click Generate. Here you can title your video, I'll just name mine Demo. You can also change up the resolution, and for this one, I'm leaving it at 720p. Then I'll click Submit, and Heijin will start generating our first result. Now, while that's generating, I'm actually going to get started right away on the second one. For this one, I'll follow the exact same process we just did for the dinosaur, I'll create a new avatar and upload the image of my realistic character. As you can see, for this one, Heijin actually detects everything automatically, age and ethnicity are filled in right away. So I'll just go on ahead with that and follow the same steps we used before. Now that the second avatar is created, I'll import it into the workspace and then upload the corresponding audio as well. Once that's in, I'll click generate and now we just wait for the results. So now that both of our videos are finally done generating, let's take a look at the realistic one first. Hey, I'm Alex. I've learned that the toughest battles aren't the ones people can see. 
They're the ones we face inside. And wow, this one came out looking very realistic. Not only does it animate her actual lips, but there's movement in her hair and even the background has subtle motion, which adds a ton of realism. It just makes the whole thing feel much more alive. That inexpressiveness we talked about earlier, the one I noticed when first listening to the audio clip actually works really well once you see it in motion. The voice by itself didn't sound super realistic, but with the lip sync and the way Heijin animates the video, it really sells the effect and makes it look surprisingly real. Now let's take a look at our cartoon lip sync. Hi there, friends. I'm Detective Rex and I love solving mysteries. And honestly, I think this one came out even better. You can see the whole dinosaur moving, his tail's moving, his arms are moving naturally, and it actually recognizes that this is a more cartoonish character. So instead of trying to make it too human looking, it keeps everything in that same animated style, which fits perfectly. His eyes move just right, and the mouth movements look exactly how they should for a 3D animated character. It doesn't look weird at all. All in all, I'd say both of these turned out really cool, but the cartoon one might actually be my favorite. It just feels so fun and natural to watch. So now you know how to generate perfect lip syncs with AI, both for realistic and cartoon looking ones. Honestly, once you start playing around with this, the possibilities are endless. You can use it to make short form videos for TikTok or Instagram, use it for fun creative projects, or even for professional work if you're a creator or a business owner. The best part is that everything in this workflow starts with open art. It's what really ties the whole process together, from generating your visuals to creating your audio. So if you want to try this out yourself, everything starts with open art. You can sign up and test it out by clicking the link in the description below, and I'll see you in the next one.